Hey, Cosmosis 3D here. Before we get into the action, just do want to do a couple of quick guild shout outs. Number one, obviously, as you see in the background, the guild that I'm currently with, Spirit Leaf. Epic guild, currently sixth in the world night rankings, obviously pushing for top five in the next few days, and who knows, onwards and upwards. Guild leader, ILIJ, absolute stand up guy, another fellow British player, um, which is always nice. And what can I say? Truly amazing group of people from around the world. Fantastic guild. On to the second one, Zero Morse. Absolutely another amazing guild. This guild only just over two weeks old and as you can see already pushing top 2000. So already you can see the dedication that's going in from the, the members of this guild into the game and obviously into making the guild a lot better. My Smurf currently lives here, um, Triple D Smurf. Um, he's currently a member of this guild. Um, so as you can see, you know what I mean, I, I can see where there's potential. Um, the leader, JJ, absolutely amazing guy. I actually met him from Instagram. Both me and him are quite popular on Instagram when it comes to posting Castle Crash photos and gameplay. Um, if you haven't already, um, link's going to be in the description below, so make sure you go check out some of the pictures over there. Um, and what can I say? Details of obviously of the requirements and so forth are going to be on the screen right now for Zero Remorse. Um, I did forget to mention, unfortunately, Spirit Leaf is currently closed. Um, we have just had a little bit of a clear out and obviously an influx of new members but as it stands uh, Spirit Leaf is currently closed for applications um, but do keep an eye out obviously if you fancy your chances at uh, aiming for a top 10 guild um, but back to Zero Remorse onwards and upwards this guild is going to go somewhere so if you want to be part of it as you can see there are plenty of spaces still available um, details up on the screen get in touch with them so let's get into the action here. As you can see, this is the 125 Snowzilla. Um, just a few little battles I'm going to show you before we get to the main event. These are obviously all 125s. Um, this is quite an easy battle. It's not a strong team really at all, and as you can see there, it's all over. Nice little silver key there, though, victory. On to the 125 Thunder God. This is a little bit more difficult, obviously, having these double champs and Thunder God with the stuns. The succubus there will obviously be the debuff on my damage and ATK. Drags on a little bit, um, but I hold in there. Obviously, really strong heroes. Um, I do lose my Thunder God there, but the other ones are still going. Pumpkin Duke, obviously, keep the main two now. Cracking in there. Pumpkin Duke's going like a rocket now, and there we go, it's all done. Another little silver key. You do notice quite a lot of silver keys from these 25s, um, but not all the time. And onto the level 125 Succubus. Quad Succubus, this is. If I forget to put Druid in, and leave my Thunder God in there, it's over. Druid, obviously, the buff on the ATK. So it's main event time, and as you can see, just stayed there. This is my squad and my layout. Pumpkin Duke up front, Minnow Vlad and Thunder God there in the middle row, and Cupid at the back. Primarily, this is a team that I will always run in Lost Realm. It's a strong team, battles really don't last that long. Neither did this one, surprisingly. Um, the only thing though that I really do think that's out that you can't see obviously in this picture is my second talent. Um, other than Pumpkin Duke who's holding a 3-5 flame guard, the other four actually have 2-5 slowdowns. Now I actually did this for the reason knowing I was going into this battle. Whether it helps, I believe it did. It may not have done because obviously what you're going to watch, the battle really didn't last that long so very hard to tell. Um, but let's watch it anyway, here we go. Okay guys, what I'm going to do is also slow this battle down by 50%, so this is not real time. I've slowed it down obviously for your viewing benefit. Here we go, Pumpkin Duke goes in there, building up power, proc straight off the bat, and boom, Cupid gets a proc in for anybody else. Vlad goes off, Thunder God goes off, Minnow, it's literally all over. Pumpkin Duke's now going like an absolute rocket. Another there proc off Thunder God, and it's all over. Just under 10 seconds I would say, and it's all done. Absolutely epic battle, and um, really can't believe I passed it. Did slow down now, not too sure, but that proc from Cupid at the right time certainly did. Thanks for watching, uh, please leave me a like and obviously subscribe to my channel, really means a lot. Take care.